I did the stupidest thing possible coming out to camp on top of a mountain pass. Oh man, I found myself on another dirt road that I'm probably a little out of my league. Some of these rocks are gnarly. Oh jeez. I'm a little bit past Blackhawk. I've never come this way on any uh, kind of off-roads, dirt roads. But this is where the GPS point that I had picked is leading me. I think if I turn around and go back, the dirt road down there goes to a little bit more accessible campsite. Um, I'm just going to take this as far as I can, see what I can get away with. I mean, I'm barely making it over these rocks, but I'm making it. And the views are outstanding and really cool up here. You can see some of the mountains ahead of me. Wow, dude. I need a Jeep Wrangler. I found a really cool place. There's still a lot of people out here riding ATVs and dirt bikes, which it always annoys me to be out in the wilderness or out in these places and then you hear dirt bikes running through every corner but you know I'm not gonna hate on anybody for their hobby uh, I used to have a dirt bike and ride motorcycles so I get it it's a really great place to ride but check this out we're somewhere uh, back behind I want to say this is Rollins Pass uh, but we're near Mammoth Lakes or Mammoth Reservoir I should say and so I just took this dirt road kind of up the mountain and we're gonna see if we can find some campsites. I haven't seen a whole lot yet, but I did pass a dude on the way up here and he said that they are just littered all over the place. <laughs> he told me not to tell anyone about this. So hopefully he never sees this YouTube video. So what a, what a really great place to catch some views and find a great campsite. Cannot complain today. Guys, can you hear all the dirt bikers? Yeah, yeah, I see you. Oh man, I'm not too far off the road, but I found this little spot to set the tent up. So I'm going to do a little time lapse. I'll show you my tent. It's an Alps Mountaineering backpacking tent. You guys might have heard me tell a story a long time ago about how first camping trip I ever did in Colorado. I didn't know, I didn't know how cold it got at night and I ended up waking up at like two in the morning freezing, my, my fire had gone out and I panicked. It was like just under 30 degrees. So I gathered all this wood in the dark and I just built like a bonfire out of, I don't know, desperation to get warm. Turns out it was the kind of wood with the bark that once it catches fire, it starts to float all these embers up everywhere. <laughs> and that next morning, I had holes all over my tent. I don't know if you can see this. But you can see where I did all the patchwork. I mean, I had just got this tent and I burned probably 40 or 50 holes in it. So the next Saturday, I went out and diligently sat there and I patched every single hole on this whole thing. And I still have the tent seven years later. <laughs> That's it. It's a really easy tent to set up. I, I really enjoyed it. So I usually take those top two ties. I pull them out. It's nice to get a little airflow. There have been times where I didn't even feel the need to use the rain fly, but in Colorado, the, especially in the middle of the day, the sun is just so, 
it's frying, man. Like, even I'm getting lightheaded right now just setting the tent up because I don't know exactly what time it is, but I want to say it's right around noon, one o'clock. So right now it's time to set up the hammock and uh, enjoy a little bit of shade. Also, I did the stupidest thing possible coming out to camp <sighs> on top of a mountain pass. It, it, I, I was gonna dump my trash on the way out here and I completely failed to do that. And now I have a trash bag full of garbage in my car. It's not good. That's not what you want with uh, bears and stuff nearby. So I'm probably gonna set things up and then while it's hot, jump back in the car and see if I can possibly find anywhere to dump that trash. Although I rode in for a while on that dirt road. So I don't know, live and learn.